So this bin was made in 1987. I think it's 36 years of age. And I jet hosed this wheelie bin the other day. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to kind of return this to something that looks a little bit better than it does now. So I'm using the hot air gun, and this is in real time, probably about an inch and a half away. And now I've sped the video up, obviously to make it easier for you to watch. But the idea being is, is that you're really melting the very surface, which is oxidised, and it returns it back to the colour that the plastic was when it was first produced. I think the idea originally came from the motor industry, where... Um, if they were taking a, an old commercial vehicle that had a, a lot of black plastic on the bumpers, uh, they would use this technique because it's cheaper and lasts, um, well, it lasts permanently rather than spraying something on that's an expensive product and it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have good longevity. Now, this whole process didn't take me more than about 30 minutes. And all you really need to do is to make sure that you've, you know, washed it first. I've jet hosed this before I did this the other day. And uh, also there's nothing in the bin and I'm doing it in the fresh air. I wouldn't uh, think it would be a good idea to do this in an enclosed area because you do get a bit of an unpleasant smell off the plastic. It's not too bad, but safe to do it outside. Look at the difference between the, the section that I've left. It really does create the impression that you're actually spraying on a fresh coat of black but we're not we're just simply melting that layer of oxidization i'm sure this technique could be applied to a number of other situations but for me um, i haven't come across them yet but uh, it certainly seems to work really nicely on this heavy duty abs plastic that these wheelie bins are made out of so we're pretty much at the end of it now you'll see in a few seconds that uh, i decided to have a go at the front of it And if you like this kind of content, then please consider subscribing. If you'd like to check out my channel, the name is in the top right hand corner. And uh, there are about 65 videos up there on different subjects, but all really dealing with DIY and creativity. I really hope you find something that you like. So I think you'll agree that's a night and day difference with no more than just a heat gun. Obviously you saw me, just you know, make sure that you're constantly moving it and uh, it brings it back to look like this. So 36 years of oxidization and uh, sun damage and it looks as good as new. <laughs> See you in the next one.